I don't have a team, Pep Guardiola lamented, his voice tinged with frustration and helplessness. This statement came just days after Manchester City's recent Carabao Cup victory, a moment that should have been filled with joy and celebration. His words echoing with a sense of disbelief and concern painted a stark picture of the injury crisis engulfing the reigning Premier League champions. The squad, once brimming with talent and depth, now finds itself in a precarious situation. Manchester City, a team accustomed to dominating headlines for their dazzling football and tactical brilliance, now find themselves grappling with an unprecedented shortage of fit players. The injury list seems to grow longer with each passing week, leaving fans and pundits alike in shock. With only 13 senior players available, the depth and resilience of Guardiola's squad are being tested like never before. The once formidable bench now looks alarmingly sparse, and the training sessions reveal visible gaps where key players should be. The situation has forced Guardiola to rely heavily on youth players and those who are not fully fit, further complicating their campaign. The pressure mounts as the team faces crucial fixtures in both domestic and European competitions, and the question remains, can Manchester City weather this storm and emerge stronger, or will this crisis derail their season? The severity of the situation became glaringly apparent during City's League Cup clash against Tottenham. The match, a hard-fought 2-2 draw that saw City progress on penalties, came at a heavy cost. Key players limped off the pitch, their faces etched with pain and disappointment. The Etihad Stadium, usually a fortress of invincibility, bore witness to an alarming depletion of City's ranks. The sight of Guardiola naming a matchday squad with a threadbare look has become a worrying trend. Week after week, the Manchester City manager is forced to make do with a squad that is far from full strength. Injuries and other issues have left the team in a precarious position, and the fans are beginning to feel the strain. The current list of fit players makes for grim reading for City fans. With key players sidelined, the depth of the squad is being tested like never before. The once vibrant and energetic team now appears to be a shadow of its former self, struggling to maintain the high standards they are known for. Ederson, the ever-reliable goalkeeper, and Stefan Ortega, who has been stepping up in training, are among the few who remain fit and ready to play. Their presence is crucial, but they can't carry the team alone. Manuel Akanji and Nathan Ake, both solid defenders, are also still in the mix. Their defensive prowess is vital, but the lack of rotation options is a significant concern. Ruben Diaz, known for his leadership and defensive skills, Josko Gvardiol, a rising star, and Mateo Kovacic, with his midfield dynamism, are all doing their best to keep the team afloat. Matthias Nunes, Phil Foden, Julian Alvarez, Erling Haaland and Cole Palmer are the attacking options that Guardiola can still call upon. Each of these players brings something unique to the table but the lack of depth means they are under immense pressure to perform every single game. And Rico Lewis are the only senior players currently available. The young talent is being thrust into the spotlight, and while they show promise, the experience gap is evident. Maintaining a full squad, let alone competing at the highest level with such limited resources presents an enormous challenge. The coaching staff is working tirelessly to strategize and make the best of the situation. But the road ahead is daunting. The resilience and determination of the team will be tested in the coming weeks as they strive to overcome these obstacles and continue their pursuit of success. Adding to the complexity of the situation are the long-term injuries plaguing key players. Rodri, the midfield maestro who dictates play with his composure and distribution, is sidelined Oscar Bob, a promising young talent, is unavailable. And then there's Kevin De Bruyne, the heartbeat of City's attack, whose absence leaves a gaping hole in their creative output. These long-term injuries have disrupted the team's rhythm and forced Guardiola into tactical reshuffles. As if the existing injury concerns weren't enough, recent matches have added more names to the treatment table. 
Kyle Walker, the experienced right back, is a doubt. Jeremy Doku, the lightning fast winger, is also struggling. And Jack Grealish, the club record signing yet to consistently showcase his full potential, is another concern. The growing injury list only amplifies the pressure on the remaining fit players. Section 6. Guardiola's Headache Juggling Competitions with a Threadbare Squad The congested football calendar with its relentless schedule of domestic and European commitments presents a daunting challenge for any team. For Manchester City, already stretched thin by injuries, the task of navigating multiple competitions simultaneously has become a delicate balancing act. Guardiola, renowned for his tactical acumen and meticulous planning, faces the unenviable task of rotating his depleted squad without compromising the team's performance levels. Section 7. Youth to the Rescue – The Emergence of Nico O'Reilly Amidst the gloom of the injury crisis, a glimmer of hope has emerged from City's academy. Nico O'Reilly, a highly rated midfielder, has been given opportunities in the first team. His impressive performances have provided a much-needed boost and offered a glimpse into the future. O'Reilly's emergence underscores the importance of a strong youth system, particularly during challenging times. Section 8. Can City weather the storm? The question on everyone's lips is whether Manchester City can overcome this unprecedented injury crisis and maintain their position at the pinnacle of English and European football. With key players sidelined, the depth of their squad will be tested like never before. Fans and pundits alike are speculating on how the team will adapt to these challenges. The answer, as with most things in football, is far from straightforward. The manager's tactical acumen will be crucial in navigating this turbulent period. Every decision, from formation changes to player rotations, will be under intense scrutiny. City's squad, even when depleted, possesses individual brilliance and tactical flexibility. Their ability to adapt to different situations and opponents has been a hallmark of their success. Yet, the pressure is immense, and the margin for error is slim. However, the relentless nature of the modern game, coupled with the mental and physical fatigue that inevitably sets in, could take its toll. Injuries not only affect physical performance, but also the psychological state of the team. The resilience and unity of the squad will be tested to their limits. Can they rise above these adversities and continue their quest for glory? Only time will tell. Section 9. The Road Ahead The coming weeks and months will be crucial for Manchester City. The return of key players from injury will be eagerly anticipated. The ability of the remaining fit players to maintain their focus and intensity will be paramount. And the tactical decisions made by Guardiola will be scrutinized more than ever. One thing is certain. Manchester City's mettle and resilience are about to be tested like never before. <laughs>